How to start an NGO in Uganda An NGO is a non-governmental organization. Are you contemplating starting an NGO in Uganda? This video is yours. There are currently very many NGOs in Uganda. Most NGOs are non-profitable, they don't get paid for the work they do. So as you are starting an NGO, you need to be aware of it. Let us look at the steps to how one can start an NGO in Uganda. Step 1. Find a reason. The first step to starting an NGO is to find a reason. You need to identify your why before starting an NGO. If you are finding it hard to get your reason for creating an NGO, you can get inspiration by working or volunteering to work in any NGO of your choice. Find ones that focus on causes you're interested in. Working with an established NGO will help you gain experience and knowledge in the field. You'll see the challenges and rewards that come with the work. Being in the field will also help you find potential board and team members for your NGO. So start with finding out the reason behind you starting an NGO. Step 2. Specify your goals. What is the purpose of your NGO? As an NGO owner, you need to set realistic goals. A big picture goal like end all poverty is noble but impossible for one NGO. The more focused and specific you are, the more likely it is that your NGO will make a difference. You can take a course or two on NGO governance and leadership. You need to come up with knowledge and skills on how you will run your NGO. You also want to write a vision statement, a list of goals, and how you hope to achieve them. Think about the words you choose since these will have a prominent position on your website and fundraising material. Step 3. Register your NGO. The next step in how to start an NGO in Uganda is registering your NGO. NGOs need to meet specific legal requirements, which vary by country. Registering an NGO makes it a legal entity. In Uganda, you need to visit the National Bureau for Non-Governmental Organizations NGO Bureau. In Uganda, NGOs are registered under five different categories namely indigenous, regional, continental, foreign, and international. A new NGO is required to obtain both a certificate of registration and a permit of operation at the first instance of registration before it commences operations. For more information on how to register your NGO in Uganda, visit Go Bureau. Go. Ugh. The link is in the description below. Step 4. Build a team. NGOs are never just one or two people. There needs to be a board, administrators, fundraisers, project managers, educators and so on. As you are starting an NGO in Uganda, you must find people who are passionate, reliable, and skilled. You might connect with your team while working with an NGO or through a traditional hiring process. What matters is that you feel confident about your choices. For more on hiring staff for your NGO, we have an article on how to hire employees for your NGO. Step 5. Research and make an action plan. Now that you have all this in place, it's time to lay the groundwork. Research the areas you want to work in. Identify the challenges, cultural history, political state, and so on. This research will help you to come up with a clear image of the place where you are going to work. You can hire people to do your research in case you are too busy to do it yourself. This context is essential to being effective. While you're doing this, talk to other NGOs. Find out what challenges they've faced and the progress they've made. These relationships can become partnerships, allowing organizations to do more good together than they would apart. With this groundwork, you can then form an action plan on how to make your NGO effective. Step 6. Raise money. The next step is to raise capital. Money can be complicated, so having people on your team who know what they're doing is essential. How much funding you have and how you use the money can make or break your organization. You'll also need to figure out where you'll get the money. NGOs have a handful of options such as loans, grants, private donations, and membership dues. It's also possible to get funding from the government. Discuss your finance options with your team. When you start the fundraising process, tap into your network. Always evaluate your messaging, so you get better and better at appealing to donors. 
For more on how to raise capital for your NGO, we have a link in the description below. Step 7. Start. The last but not most minor step on how to start an NGO in Uganda is starting your NGO. You'll want to start small at first with attainable goals. Assign everyone a clear role, decide on a budget for the project, and set up a monitoring and evaluation system. This will let you assess what's working and what's not during the project, and then afterwards, you'll be able to evaluate the final result. Conclusion That's all that is required to start an NGO in Uganda. Visit us at Infant Entrepreneur. Come for more advice on business, 